Sloan Partners would like to welcome Tom Hirsch, President and Co-Founder of Laboratory Billing Solutions. Thank, Thank you. you, Tom, for joining us. Um, your first question about financial pressure. I think, obviously, publicly traded companies and any company owned by a private equity firm faces tremendous financial pressure with what's going on with declining reimbursement, lower utilization, uncertainty with health care reform, uncertainty with what accountable care means. And I think all of those organizations are reeling under the climate we're working in. Um, it's, no one wants to do business when you don't know what the future holds. Um, no one wants to be in a business where um, volume is decreasing or stagnant. And no one loves being in a business if you can't pass on price increases. Mm -hmm. So that side of the sector um, is very concerned where I don't think that hospitals um, feel the same pressure. They're not, um, they're not, it's not as competitive a market despite all the excess capacity. They're all able to um, work out deals with insurers to make money when they're 70% full. Um, and they just don't, um, although it varies by state and region, I don't see uh, them, unless they're forward looking, feeling the same pressures that um, certain sectors feel based on where the money's coming from and whether they're independent of a non-for-profit health system or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to change, but right now they are, it's a different planet they're working in. So in ter from your perspective, you've got private equity, venture-backed laboratories, maybe public or private laboratories, um, and then the hospital systems. Where is the, is in any of those markets, is there financial stability? I think there's financial stability right now for hospitals, or they, they perceive it as such. Mm. They're able to still, in many cases, charge a premium for their service and get away with it. Um, you know, a lot of health systems are still making very strong EBITDA margins, um, regardless of what's gone on so far with healthcare reform, regardless of the fact that there's more people uninsured, the fact that utilization has dropped. They're still doing okay, and that's partly because it's not a real world economy there. And so, you know, they don't feel the pressures another industry would feel if you were operating at less than a certain capacity, for example, like the airlines. Mm -hmm. None of them made money unless they, until they cut routes, started filling all their planes. And that's not the case in healthcare. So how does that get accomplished? How do, how do you help a hospital system understand what's happening in their, their laboratory and the financial implications to the system, or, or do you? Well, I think forward-thinking people realize that <clears throat> there's going to be less money available mm -hmm. for what we do. That's a given. Medicare is bankrupt. Um, everybody's frustrated with a percentage of uh, GMP that healthcare spending represents, and it's not sustainable. Uh, public um, is more upset about the cost because they're paying more of it out of pocket, which I think is actually a good thing, because if we weren't paying for it, we thought it was free, we'd never deal with the unaccountability of costs. Mm -hmm. So that's a positive trend to me in terms of bringing about accountability. Um, but you know, a lot of health systems um, are forward thinking. Um, you can present them options that, you know, it's not going to last the way it is. And some of them will take initiative based on that. But they're, they're not as forward thinking as a private company um, in many cases. And you know, change in how they do business is unsettling for all of us. You mm -hmm. have the same thing in your business, but you're all more motivated to do something about it, where there are a lot of um, constituencies that are unaffected by the financial condition of the hospitals, others are. Um, and so you've got to get everyone to pull together that we have to do things differently. But it can happen, but it's not a slam dunk. They're not as, um, they don't feel the pain yet, and a lot of them don't react until the pain is acute. But that's true in business as well. Not every you know, private sector company realizes they're in trouble before it's until too late. It's right. So what are the signs of getting to that point of too late? And you, you mentioned Medicare. So if a hospital lab 
Well, a hospital lab would be different, but let's say a private lab today, if they have a, a high proportion of Medicare, for instance, as a payer, should they be worried today, and what steps should they take to understand their financial situation or secure a better future? Well, I, I think the problem is Medicare gets yeah, cuts. What if I was a private lab? What I'd be worried about is hospitals buying practices mm. and having less opportunities to service the market because, you know, somebody bought the business away and made it go to the hospital for no reason related to merit of your product or how your business functions. We're all dealing with cuts in Medicare and we've all learned to live at the Medicare fee schedule or below it or most people should have by now because it's been around for a while and to think that Medicare was going to continue to be um, you know your worst payer is ridiculous it's going to be one of your better payers um, and it's it probably should be your worst payer being the government and being the size it is so you should have you know, readjusted your business based on that. But I think what's caught people off guard is declining utilization. Mm -hmm. It's no longer as much of a transaction business. And the fact that health systems are integrating care and um, you're losing the business with no control. I mean, it's how, you know, it is in the sense that you should have seen it coming, but it's not like you lost it for merit. You know, a lot of doctors would prefer to use independent labs. They're more user-friendly, um, they're um, easier for their patients, but um, that's a trend that's going to continue.